There was so much emotion just pouring out around the world. There was so much fear and there was so much outrage. And mixed in with that in the gay community, I think there was so much hope. As awful as this was, that would this be the one that would make policymakers care? Would this be the one that would reach homophobes around the country and wake them up? I think everyone out there hoped that maybe this was going to be it. This is the moment when we show people rhetoric and bias against gay people has an impact. An impact we don't want and an impact we have the power to stop. Something about Matthew Shepard, I just somehow feel like... I, I, I don't know, that like I would have loved him. D does anybody else feel that way? I, I... I am so pissed off. <laughs> I can't stop crying. In our shock and grief, one thing must remain clear, hate, Prejudice are not American values. The unofficial motto of Wyoming might be live and let live, a state where people keep to themselves. This has never been a battleground for civil rights. So it's surprising that Matthew Shepard's death has touched so many. This wasn't unusual. Matt wasn't the only one killed. He was one of 33 that year, but he couldn't be ignored. He could have been anybody's son. Even the conservative, privileged, suburban and wealthy people in this country couldn't look at him and say, well, he couldn't be my kid, because he could have been, and they couldn't deny it anymore.